Hello everyone, welcome to Truth. A church is a place you get enough information about Christ. You can be in a church more than one year without being Christ. It's because that you haven't understand the whole about Christ, Jesus and God. You must research more and trust God, Jesus and Holy Spirit. You must learn to share your life with them to be blessed and successful. Listen to testimonies and share their happiness. The Bible is full of testimonies of Jesus' miracles and bringing peace. Sometimes churches lead people to wrong way. Therefore, it is important your knowledge about Christ and Jesus, which helps you choose the correct church. Some people protect and defend Christ and Jesus, but sometimes they become condemned. Don't be scared. Only stay on the right path and choose a correct church. Only keep in mind that when you become baptized, Jesus lives in you and you in him. There is no reason to be worried about misjudgment from others. Stay strong on your belief and Jesus guides you to be succeeded. Sometimes we hear at a very believed person who had joined people to the Christ, left all his belief and became authentic. It was something wrong with his belief. Maybe he wanted to see the result over his job very quick. In the same as God has patience on us to do correct things for his grace and our holy, so must be, so we must be uh, have patience to get the answers over our prayers. When you doubt, you break the chain. Very quick, ask Holy Spirit to correct you and pray Jesus to hold your hand. In the scriptures, you can find God's promises. When you believe, your belief is strong. Only keep in mind that our Lord Jesus rescues us at least in the end. In the Hebrews talks about greater than or less than or equals. New covenant is greater than the old covenant. God has given us Jesus as the best to us. He is for us until the end. In the scriptures stands a chapter about Melchizedek and Abraham. When we ask any person who was greater, everybody tells Abraham, for they know everything about him. But what is the truth? Melchizedek was king of justice, king of peace, no old generation, but he existed and exists yet, then he is like God's son and is holy forever. Jesus is in the path. Jesus is in this path, is uh, in Melchizedek path. This path is better. In Abraham path, this Abraham's path is good. Abraham gave Melchizedek ten scores. Abraham knew that he was great. Levi, Lavi, Abraham's generation is in Abraham's path. In Melchizedek path, there is not written in any scripture about Melchizedek's death. Therefore, he is alive. But Jesus, Son of God, has eternal life. Love is generation to ten scored from people because uh, they earn their time for God's grace. They have been dead over their time. 
Melchizedek's priesthood was from the heaven. Love is priesthood and laws existed. Jesus brought new covenant and it is uh, the best because it makes us holy. Old covenant was based on laws which cannot make us holy. Then Melchizedek and Jesus are best compared with Abraham and his generations. Nobody is Jesus in Jesus become, becomes holy because of the power of eternal life, which is greater than laws, which are not complete. The laws were not valid anymore because something greater and he, uh, he best come Jesus to make us close to the God. When we bend ourselves in front of Jesus, we are in His purity, justice, peace, and glory. New covenant is the old positivity and kindness. When some time, uh, someone changes his or her opinion about you, you are going to lose something. If God or Jesus change their opinion on us, what is going to happen, happen. Sometimes we are so in our earthly situations that may God and Jesus give us up and leave us. In, it is horrible in any situation and in what we do, do it in the name of Jesus. Of course, we cannot only sit and tell Jesus does everything for us. No, he helps us with what we do. Trust Jesus. In the third generation, sin happened and let us God, uh, let, let uh, God sad uh, to leave us. But God is so kind that in uh, 14 generation he gave us Melchizedek. In 15 generation he introduced Abraham with a promise. God told to both Melchizedek and Abraham about Jesus who is coming and defeat Satan. Then we have got God's kindness and grace. God gave the Israelis Moses to reign in 400 years with a lot of laws for a holy life and that people make a glory for God's grace. But Jewish were so dependent on this world so that Jesus saved the human by his crucified and connected people to God's kingdom. Christian's life is in Jesus and Jesus' lives in them to reign the whole world. God told to the David, the holy person, that an eternal king from your generation comes, Jesus. Old covenant and the laws were not wrong, only that it had prepared the way for Jesus come. Jesus did the laws and sacrificed himself as once offering to forgive people's sin and connect them to the God's kingdom. God promises that Jesus is the eternal king and high priest who brings new covenant. We are only we are holy who sometimes sins, but we must beg for forgiveness. If you trust Jesus and leave yourself to him, nothing goes wrong. God in Old Covenant gave people laws to live holy, but people failed. God gave them opportunity to offer something like killing an animal to make God wash the sins. But if you continue with sins, God leaves you, leaves you, he leaves you in exile, and your life is an only disastrous life in this world. Then don't do 
Bible says, Holy Spirit, learn us, know about old covenant, and keep us to God's law in new covenant, where Jesus fulfilled the old covenant and laws. Learn how to live in new covenant from Bible. Sometimes we, with our mistakes, become afraid that Holy Spirit doesn't talk with us. Obey Jesus, the High Priest. New Covenant is better than Old Covenant because the, the, uh, this is reality while Old Covenant was a shadow. New Covenant is better because it talks about better things which is living with Jesus. When you obey Jesus, you obey the God. Therefore, God accepts you in His kingdom. The sins are forgiven and forgotten. God is so forgiven that He can forgive a very huge sin. When He commits sin, when we commit sin, our soul is in trouble because God has given us conscience. It is this, uh, it is this make us fight inside to be free from wrong things. Demons has control over our conscience, but Holy Spirit helps us to judge. Jesus makes the negative judge inside us silent and make the positive judge strong. The judge inside us is our conscience which is in control by demons. When you confess your sins, forgiveness is guaranteed. Sometimes you don't know if you are forgiven or not. Jesus is the connection between us and the God. When we confess our sins and be really sorry, then we are forgiven. There is no com uh, confession, there is no forgiveness. If there is no confession, there is no forgiveness. From the beginning, blood pays, paid the sin's forgiveness. God chooses the blood as offering for sins. After Adam and Eva committed sins, they covered themselves with the loaves, but God doesn't accept it and gave them the skin of an animal, means that an animal became dead by offering his blood. Jesus offered his blood for our sins, and he did only once. He puts away the sins. If you repeat with your sins, Jesus leaves you at last because you haven't shown respect. If you become sorry, then Holy Spirit leads you to Jesus to confess and ask for forgiveness. If heaven is complete, then we must be complete to be there. Jesus died and raised from the dead for us. When we baptize us as Christ, our body become a temple and Jesus enter in, in it and live in us and be in him. If we trust him completely, he makes us complete. The truth is that we live in this world and we have different responsibilities in the society. Sometimes we are so busy that we forget Jesus, but He is in you while you do yours. In a score between minus 10 to 0, you must try power uh, uh, best to reach to 0 point score. Even with, uh, with thoughts, you commit sins and you can fall closer to minus 10 score. This is the fight in this life so that we as much clean as be close to the Jesus and God. In zero score we are forgiven. The way between zero
go to tennis school, we must do a lot of good things. In old covenant, your sins become reminded even you had offered and became forgiven. In new covenant, the offering has been paid once, but you must do good things and also confess your sins and beg for forgiveness. We must fight to be complete. We must fight to keep us holy. Every holy things you do, it takes away your bad things uh, on the cross. Each time you do good things, you become closer to the God and Jesus because you become more complete. In Christ, we become complete. The new covenant is the final period in the creation. It is not coming any better than that. The way in new covenant is to be awakened and don't do sins and instead be holy. Even you work in a society you live in. Helping others to be holy. Every uh, your bad things is destroyed by your good things over the cross. Any development is based on God's grace. When you do things, even work in the name of Jesus and the God, you receive their mercies and glory. God is the light, no darkness. When we walk in darkness, we haven't any communion with the God. While when we walk in the light, we are in God's communion. God's will is that we live holy and this is possible with Jesus. In Old Covenant, it was three things people fight to receive it. Holiness, they had laws to tell them what, uh, what is holiness. Therefore, they fighted to receive holiness. Forgiveness, they tried their best to be forgiven by offerings. Friendship to reach to the God. They had a high priest that by him they can reach to the God. In New Covenant, all these things has been given to you. Jesus lives in you and you in him because you are holy of their baptisms, but uh, you are forgiven by him and you are in contact with the God via him. People in Old Covenant work to reach these three, but people in New Covenant live and live with them because we have these three things. Use them for their life and development. Jesus has given us holiness which makes us simply has con connect with God. If you let Jesus guide you, when you have Jesus, be very happy that the high priest watches over your life. Ask Jesus heals you and that you don't do any mistake to find security. You must make things to close you to the God. Makes us God to talk with you. Talk with God and be awakened to hear Him. Keep your hope alive. When we, uh, we do patience, we share with each other Jesus' body and blood. We must be happy that we together make Jesus happy. Wish that Jesus works appears as uh, your works. Try to have friends because holy, uh, loneliness is not good. To have friends is that encourage us and uh, communicate and correct each other. 
There are three types of people. Back turner. When they choose something else than Jesus, who is the final period in life. These people talk a lot of bad things behind the Christ and get very long distance from the God. Such a people are back turner. When you consciously sins, even you know about the truth, God and Jesus leave you. There is no offering can free you from your sins. In Old Covenant, when you sin against the laws, they kill you physically. But in New Covenant, when you consciously sin, sins even, uh, even you know the truth, your spirit becomes dead. Too deep. The second people are too deep. It is those people who are very careful and cannot decide and cannot accept Jesus even they know about him. These people will continue with their sinful life, but they are condemned anyway. The third people is a struggling Christian who are believers but are very busy in this world. But by their belief in Jesus, they are going to be free kindly. When they start their days with the name of Jesus, then Jesus watches over them and helps them to do their life in holiness. When you continue with your unbelief, you are going to be condemned. But if you continue with your belief, and ask Holy Spirit and Jesus to strengthen you, your belief, you are going to be uh, to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen.